Hello everyone, it's Aidan Gibson here. Just wanted to share this with you. How to make your own app for iPhone or uh, Blackberry or see create custom mobile apps. What you do is uh, enter your website URL in here and it will automatically um, pull up the content for you. It's a completely free service. So it's preparing your app here. I've just done a couple. Uh, may take a while, like they need to be um, authorized, so um, they're still in, in progress. Okay, so now you come to this page, it's extracted things from your website. I've just chose my um, AidenGibson.com website, which is the friendly advice on internet marketing, and I, I'm sure I'll be doing a blog post about this uh, website as well very soon. So, on here, your pages, there's four at the moment, so you can see it's already extracted my. YouTube videos here and you can scroll it just like you're scrolling on your iPhone and say for example I want to um, add a contact us page just click on the add button here you can add any of these and then it will bring up the contact us page and then you can edit it you can put your number in here and your email address and then as you do you can see over here automatically put your phone number in to show you what it's going to look like when it's finished um, let's put my email address and then you can put your website in there as well and it's clickable as well for when they want to click on it um, via their iPhone they can go straight to your website. You can see at the bottom here you can set out the, the menu how you want. You can have the YouTube button there, the news which is basically just for my blog posts. Um, and you can lay them out different. And I've got, got my Twitter feed there as well. I'm sure you can agree it's quite cool. It's instant. You know, I've only just started doing this and it's very easy and completely free. So you can you do a slice of your site as well where you can edit and you can take a, a bit from another website to um, uh, mix it in. And just play around with it, it's quite simple to do. You don't have to have all these um, feeds here, you just click off here. If you don't want the YouTube, if you don't want the news. Uh, Facebook, you'll have to put your URL in there, um, preferably of the, um, your business Facebook page and it will automatically take them off your page. Um, here, this is my Twitter icon. I, I tend not to use this anymore, so I'd, I would click on here and then change it. I'll put um, another image, maybe my Facebook image is a bit nicer, less of a cheesy grin on my face. You change the um, um, the uh, material. Ah, uh, yeah, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Those ones. The background you can change at the moment. It's uh, just the text. <coughs> change it to abstract or anything. You can change the, um, the colors as well. So uh, I've got a green eco-friendly blog and I've made an app for that and I've used the earth colors. But on this one is mono. You can choose the blues as well. The blues are quite cool. And then you can change specific areas of it as well. The text you could turn into white. Um, I would change the header here. At the moment it just says Aiden Gibson. You could just change it to marketing tips and then you'll see on the app it's changed to marketing tips so when you're happy with it don't worry you can always come back later to uh, edit it go to save and continue and like I said at start you, you it needs to be authorized so we'll click on publish now And you put in your URL, your email, phone number is optional, and then uh, here it is quite an important bit easier. I'm not going to go through this bit because it's, uh, I just want to keep the video a bit short. Um, I don't want it's already been used. Uh, this is so you go while you're on your iPhone, you go to this URL, 
and it will take you to the app already even though it hasn't been authorized and then all you do is to um, you click on the add button and it will add it to your home page on your uh, um, on your iPhone so you've already got the app as, it, as it's going to look so you can literally play on it as an app straight away um, but it's not yet in the app store um, so app name put marketing tips um, description um, before you put your description here I'd recommend go through the app store and just pick a few apps that you like and see how they have laid out their description you can lay it out um, like that rather than a big block of writing you just split it up a bit add some um, um, icons or something something that draws your attention but make it very clear as to what the app is about uh, also in the promotional text literally just a sentence very clear of what your app is about um, what it can um, give to people who download it um, app category put it in applications or games and then you choose your category so for mine was business and then you choose your image it's very self-explanatory here here's um, an image you need it 320 by 460 pixels this is the image that when the app is loading comes up or else you'll just get this screen so try and get an image up that big again you can come back and um, change it and then your screenshots choose an image um, you can choose any size image it will squash it into there but again it make it look as if it fits preferably and then choose a few and you can always add another here these are the Im images at the bottom when you're looking at an app in the app store go to the bottom and you're going to scroll and you can have a look at what the app looks like so try and get some images in here go back to um, have a look at the image um, what your app's going to look like and if you can get an image of what your app's app is actually going to look like then put it in here um, you got the iPad graphics in there and audience just um, click on the on the side and you'll see so you go to publish but it's not going to do it here because um, I haven't finished all of this um, then it will say um, app is needs to be authorized um, but you can get it now like I said earlier you go to your app name dot mode app dot at and that's um, but go to this URL via your iPhone and then you save that to your home screen on your iPhone and that will be your app. It won't look like this. Um, let me know how you get on. I will uh, do, I'll put this on my blog and I'm sure I'll put some links um, to let you know how uh, my app's got on and um, how I've updated it as well. So I'll, I'll keep, keep you posted on what I'm doing. I'll put it on this blog, AidenGibson.com, where I share tips and techniques on internet marketing. I'm sure if if you if you're anything like me, you're quite excited about this because it's a free service. You can you put your service out there into the app store where potentially loads of people are going to be exposed to your app and your services and it, um, help your business. That's it for now. Have a great day. Bye.